hey welcome back to this channel i hope you're all doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can design and animate a lower third inside davinci resolve so let's take a new project and the first thing that we'll do is go to the project settings click on that and i'm going to set the timeline frame rate to 60 and play back frame rate to 60 as well and click on save then let's head over to the edit page and in the effects tab you will see fusion composition drag it onto the timeline then let's go to the fusion page and right click set the arrange tools to grid make sure that it is checked and you can move the media out on the right over here now let's start by creating our background shape so we are going to drag in the background tool which is the very first icon just drag this onto the flow and if you view this background on the left screen or on the left monitor you'll see that it's uh, set to black by default so we are going to change its uh, color and uh, from the type i'm going to actually set this to gradient and uh, linear gradient is fine and the gradient color the first color i'm going to uh, use a facebook kind of a color so maybe like uh, blue and then on the second one let's just go a bit darker I uh, like that right so uh, we have that and on this background node I'm going to add a rectangle mask so click on that to edit um, let's see this in a single viewer mode so you can click on this icon to go single view um, so the first thing I'm going to do is decrease the height and increase the width like that and I'm also going to increase the corner radius as well so something like that all right then I'm going to go to media pool and um, let's just open that up and I have these social media icons over here we're going to use the Facebook one um, so let's just drag that in and let's just drag this into the flow over here right and on this one I'm going to connect it with the background node so it will result in this merge node and if you build this merge node you'll see that the logo is now visible in on this merge node uh, but what I want to do is I want this logo to be inside this shape so for that you have to click on this merge one and over here you'll see operator and I'm going to select click on that and from this list I'm going to select a top so now your logo will be inside uh, the shape all right so now how do we change the color over here color of this um, logo so for that we can add a background node to this so bg for background so click on add and it will also add a merge node for you so uh, let's just make some room over here right so let's just move this over here yeah that's cool so on this merge tool um, you have to click on that and from the operator you have to select N all right and on this background tool, you click on that and now you can pick any color from the colors over here so I again I'm going to let's just color use this color picker tool and pick this color over here and now to control the positioning and the scale of this logo we are going to add a transform node after this merge so hit the spacebar and type in xf click on add and add a transform node now you can move its center position and it's you can control its scale as well so maybe i'll just put it somewhere over there all right that looks nice and now let's create a text so let's just close out of this media pool we don't want that anymore so here you have the text plus tool so you just drag this onto the flow and to see the text you can just drag this onto the viewer and just start typing the name so i'll just type in motion epic and i'm also going to um, make it look nice by changing the font style and also maybe probably I have to decrease the font size so which, which we'll see in a moment so to see this uh, all the stuff we did so the background the icons and the text all together you have to connect this merge one with this text so it will result in another merge node so you can just view this merge node and uh, there you can see that there is no text over there 
and the reason is because this text one is coming in to this merge 3 node as a background we want this to be as a foreground so you can click on the merge 3 hit ctrl t on the keyboard and it will swap the foreground with the background okay so now we can change the position and before that i'm going to go to the text tool and i want the horizontal anchor to be on the left so click on that so that's because if we set this to center and add some text you will notice that it's going to move the text on the left as you add more characters we don't want that we want it to be on the left so i'm going to set this to left and now when you enter some text you will see that it's going to stay still at the left anchor or the left edge all right so that's cool now let's just position this somewhere over here and let's just increase the size as well like that all right i want another text so i'm going to copy this text and hit ctrl v to paste it so you'll see that your merge uh, another merge node will be created over here and on the one at the bottom i'm going to just move it down like that and i'm going to change the text to something else all right so it's too big so i'm going to just scale it down like that and probably you can also change the font weight as well all right that looks great now all we have to do is just animate our text and the shape and this logo as well so to do that you have to first we'll animate the shape the background shape so here we have the rectangle so you can animate its width property or the height property but as you can see uh, it's going to change it from the center position over here i kind of want it to animate from top to bottom and the way we do that is by you know, i select this rectangle one control c and control v copy and paste and on the second rectangle you have to set its paint mode to multiply all right and then you have to animate this second rectangle over here so you just have to let's go to 60th frame create a keyframe on center x and y i'm going to go back to the very first frame and move it to the top right so if you screw up through the timeline this is how your animation will look to make it look a bit more professional you can go to the spline editor select the displacement and then click on this icon that says zoom to fit and now then click on this icon that says select all hit s on the keyboard hold the alt key on the keyboard and just drag the handles to make a curve like that you can exit out the spline and if you play this animation it's going to look much smoother all right now we will animate our text so select the text tool and we'll, let's animate it by going into the layout tab and we'll animate its position so again go to the 60th frame create a keyframe on center x and y go back to the very first frame and i want it to be right right over here and also as you can see that our text is already visible i want the text to be visible only inside this shape so in order to do that you have to click on this merge 3 and set the operator to in let's try in and see if it's working now that's not working let's use another one yeah a top i think will work yeah you can see now our text is visible only inside this shape which is what we need again go to the 60th frame and this time we will animate our second text which is at the bottom go to layout create a keyframe on center x and y go to the very first frame and just move its position somewhere over here a bit more than what we did with text one so let's go to the spline set select this keyframe click on this icon that says zoom to fit select all the keyframes hit s on the keyboard and hold the alt key and just drag this out like that and do the same thing with text your second text so select the displacement keyframe click on zoom to fit click on select all hit s on the keyboard and hold the alt key and just drag it out like that so it's gonna look something like this 
and now we'll animate our logo so we have our transform over here again go to the 60th frame create a keyframe on center x and y go back to the very first frame and move it to the right and you can go to the spline select the keyframe click on zoom to fit and click on select all hit s on the keyboard hold the alt key and just just drag it to the left like that so let's check our animation so so yeah there you have it now all you have to do is connect this merge 3 with our media out and that should be it so if you go back to your edit page you will have your animation in the edit page now create to create the out animation it's quite simple you don't have to create all these keyframes you can just hold the alt key on the keyboard and create a copy of this clip right click and click on new compound clip you can rename it and uh, click on create now on the second clip right click and go to change clip speed set it to reverse speed and click on change so you have the in animation and now if you go to this clip you have the out animation as well right so yeah that's just about it that's how we can create these low thirds inside uh, davinci resolve and so right now this low third is massive and uh, you can just resize this easily inside the inspector over here so you can have the zoom x and y you can just make it small and you know change its position so i'm going to set this over here for the lower third all right so that's it guys that's how we can create this animation inside of Inchi resolve i hope this video was helpful uh, if it was please do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one